Hello everyone, it's the third day of our 30 days of code and let's see the problem today and it's the problem here it's called check subset I think it's a simple problem so yeah you are given two sets A and B your job is to find whether set A is a subset of B so set A is a subset of B so in order for a set to be a subset of another set all elements in A should be present in B uh, for A to be a subset of B so like set A is subset of B and if A is a subset of B we need to print true else we need to print false okay so we only need to print true or false and the test cases let's see the test cases first line will contain the number of test cases okay three test cases are there first line of each test case contains the number of elements in set a okay so this is set a second line contains the separated elements of set a so this is set a uh, this number will be the number of elements in set A and third line elements in B okay so this is the number of elements in B and this is set B so this is the number of test cases so likewise three test cases are there the first test case is, um, this is the second test case and finally this is the third set case so we want to check whether all the elements in a is present in b or not if it's present in b then we need to print true if it's not present in b we need to print false same as in the case yeah false oh uh, this is what explain over here a equal to like this and b equal to like this all elements of set a are present in uh b so a is a subset of b so that's we need to do okay well let's start doing the code we can use the vs code so first thing we are going to do is like test case test case equal to input then what's the next one then it will be like second number of elements in set A set A elements so it's gonna be the same and next thing is set set A itself so it will be itself it's in the stage of uh, space separator number so we need to make convert that way uh, set so set of map of in input dot split okay same as in the case of set b and uh, elements of B so we will just copy it out and paste it then change it to set B and here set B so we got the test cases number of test cases then set a set b and set c like that uh sorry you are set a and set b number of elements in each of the so there will be like totally three test cases so we need to take the input in the in three times so we need to loop uh, for that particular thing so in order to do that let's run a loop so we got it 
so we are now inside the loop so this four uh, input taking uh, codes will be running as much as the test case so we need now we need to check whether uh, set now elements of a is present in element b so in order to do that we can define a function like define set uh, tester yeah uh, not set tester let it be subset subset tester yeah whatever the be the name of a comma b okay then in order to test that we need to know whether all the elements in a is present in b or not so we can loop through a for i in a and if a single element in a is not present in b it's not gonna be a true statement so we need we can first check that so, uh, and if the loop continuously uh, checks and finds that i is always present in a it's gonna be a set of a subset for sure so we can check if i not in b then it's gonna be a directly a false and when the entire loop uh, checks this function and uh, comes out of the loop we can return return true so that here uh, i is checked for like all the elements in a is present in b then uh, it will return true so we only need to write print subset texture of a com i comma b okay and now then let's test it in the car let's see what's gonna happen yeah it worked so it checked the first thing and uh, returned as true and false for the second one false for the third one so our program is actually correct let's run it okay we got the test case correct then we can submit it okay so we finally got all the test cases correct yeah all test cases got correct so it's like a simple problem okay i think the video is helpful to you guys if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel okay then uh, we can see you on the next video